Ironhide, welcome back to another video. Now, today, we are playing Sakura Succubus. This is a game that just came out like maybe a few days ago, maybe at least four to five days ago. And I just got a look at it and I'm actually kind of interested to get into this because I'm wondering what could possibly go wrong in this scenario. <laughs> now, this is the first time I've ever played an anime-based game. <laughs> now, for any of y'all who don't know me, I'm a huge anime fan. <laughs> I literally am. And when it comes to these type of things, I kind of stay keep this stuff off my channel for a good reason. <laughs> but <laughs> just for the sake of it, I'm going to play this, and I'm going to take y'all along with me. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> if you do, leave a like. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think. Tell me any funny moments that you might actually like. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to get embarrassed hard. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at first hand. Uh, um, is this the screen? Please tell me this isn't the loading screen. Uh, R1. No, no. Is it auto? All right, everybody. Oh, oh, wow, it's going that far, huh? I can't believe I was invited to perform in such an incredible venue. This is crazy. It's what you deserve, AUE. <laughs> AUE. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. You know, when I first started out, I was just an underground idol. I didn't have as many fans, and preforming on a big stage like this, this was nothing more than an impossible dream. Hmm. I used to cover an anime songs on the street. I worked hard to memorize the lyrics and the dance steps, but I was just an aviance and I messed up a lot. I never thought I'd come this far. Sometimes I thought about giving up. But I knew they that would be spinning in the faces of all you wonderful people who cheered me on even when I was at my lowest. Hmm. <laughs> are you, are you, never give up. Oh, good lord. You're strong, are you? Keep fighting! You can do it! You can do anything! <laughs> we love you, AU! <laughs> Thank you, everybody! Thank you so much! When I was still a beginner, I know I couldn't afford to take a single fan of mine for granted. Your love and affection meant the world to me. You cheered me on, and so I knew I had to keep going. I didn't want to let any one of you down. If I did that, I wouldn't be able to call myself an idol ever again. My path was a hard one, but I never gave up. I devoted my life, my very soul, to pursue, well, sorry, to the pursuit of being an idol. And now I finally made it. I'm standing on this huge stage in front of thousands and thousands of people, and I've never felt more humbled in my life. You guys are my light, my life, my love. My heart belongs to every single one of you. And so I'm going to dedicate this next song to you. This is my latest single, Overflowing Feelings. Let's go! <laughs> All right, this is what I've been waiting for. This is such a hype song. What? I'm getting goosebumps already. I can't believe AU, AU, AU loves us so much. 
she's not like the other idols out there. She really does value her fans. She's so she's so pure and beautiful. I can't get enough of her cute smile. Okay. Uh, you see why I didn't want to go this far? God damn it! I'll support you until the end of time at UAU from now and forever! You are the only oh, oh, 3D girl for me! <laughs> oh! Oh no! Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! Jesus Christ, this is crazy! This is. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually really, really interesting. Yeah, that's right. A U A U A. A. Jeez. What am I even doing with my life? I love how this motherfucker has the nerve to say something like that. You motherfucker. Okay. I stared at the stage, my hand, hands jammed in my pockets as the light dims. The crowd falls quiet. It's so silent I can hear a pin drop. Or sorry, it's so silent you can hear a pin drop. Gotta make sure I don't mess that up. Jesus. If I was crazy about a QAU as some of these other fans, I'd probably consider it an immense privilege to even stand in the same room as she is, no matter how far away I am from the stage. I'm sure for some of the guys here, this is the happiest night of their lives. A middle-aged man standing next to me is actually crying. Yeah, it, it gets that way. Some diehard AU fans are acting like this is a con this concert is a religious experience. <laughs> I, and I guess I can't fault them for it. Ridiculous, though, it seems to me. <sighs> Gods aren't so very different from idols. Part of me wish I could join in the hype, but this isn't really my scene. Pretty anxious, too. When my boss found out... Well, when my boss finds out... Sorry. When my boss finds out what happened today, he's going to kill me. If only the train hadn't been delayed. Then I would... I would have gotten here on time. And I would have made it to the front of the crowd like I was order to I brought the camera equipment with me but I can hardly set it up uh, I hammered it by dozens of men I'm hammered in <laughs> by dozens the ignore me I brought the camera equipment with me and I can hardly set it up I'm hammered in by dozens of men all wearing a U shirt and holding glow sticks. There's barely enough room to swing around the cat, let alone a large industry standard camera. Well, if you have that many in there, yeah. This might be one of the worst nights in my life. This concert hall is huge, but it's not enough to accommodate all of AU's fans. She's way too popular. No shit. I stood there by 50 different tracks so far and my ears are still ringing from the crowds yelling in AU's adorable vocals. <laughs> this dude is not impressed. <laughs> he is not impressed, yo. I don't think I could take much more of this. I hope this is the last song. Slowly, almost menacingly, the background music of AU's latest song begins to build. It grows louder and louder until I can feel 
it reverberate through the ground. It's so loud, my teeth is starting to chatter, and my whole body trembles with negative, negative, nervous energy. <laughs> Lights burst upon, <laughs> upon the stage like fireworks, once more revealing a used perfect body. Oh, good lord. The crowd, as expected, goes nuts. Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! <laughs> a used checks the pose. She holds one arm out as though beckon the crowd. Uh, while the other hand curls up her microphone. AU's gaze sweeps across the sea of glow sticks spreading out before her. She smiles sweetly as she thanks every in each and every one of her fans. For the moment, her eyes seem to catch mine. Her gaze lingers hot like coal upon me. I feel my skin prickle. Oh, good lord. Has she picked me out of the crowd? Does she even know I'm alive? I'm surrounded by so many people, I doubtful she even sees me. I'm not even one of AU's fans. I'm not... I'm not at this concert because I love her music. If I'm perfectly honest, I actually think her high-pitched voice is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> that is mean. <laughs> does any does AU know this? Is this why she's looking at me? Suddenly I feel exposed. I'm not like the other men here. I'm just a filthy imposter. I shouldn't be here at all. A bright light hurts my eyes. I winch. All the while, AU continues to hold my gaze. She stares at me, her large eye, her eyes large and all-consuming. Then she begins to sing. Wait, what? Well, this is just great. Now what am I gonna do? I kicked at a loose pebble at the sidewalk, skitters away, bouncing a half a handful of times before it it's shallowed by the darkness. The street is dark, illuminated by the only by a few street lights. It's cold too. I st I shudder. I'm not sure what time it is. AU's concert finished at around 21:30, but then there was the handshake event I had to go to. I attended with an off chance I might be able to get a brief word with famous AU and a couple photos, but it wasn't to be. It wasn't meant to be? I f see, <laughs> okay. All right. I waited in line to shake AU's holy hand as well over an hour. I was almost in front of the queue when the handshake event ended and those of us unfortunate enough not to get to meet our idol face to face was told to screw off by a security guard. Well, yeah. Well, he didn't say it in quite those terms. There were most apologies involved, but that's what it boiled down to. Sorry, but it's getting late and AU has a busy schedule. We'll need to cut this handshake event short for now. I apologize to those who are unable to see AU. Please support her through the next concert. You'll get another chance to see her then. When with that, we were dismissed. My camera equipment weighs heavy in the bag, uh, looped around my shoulder. I wish I'd had a chance to actually use any of it. If only the train hadn't been delayed. And I, this is exactly what I kind of feel like it, it kind of goes down to, really. And and that sucks, man. That sucks. Especially when you miss your train that you're supposed to be there on time. And it, it's like 
people expect you to be there a lot more. Like, it's like one minute late and then you're a tortoise. You're basically a complete tortoise. If only, if only. It's not my fault that I got to the concert late. There were delays. It couldn't be helped. Trying to explain that to my boss on Monday, though. I know he'll pin the blame on the disciples queer squarely upon my skinny shoulders. It's easier to chew me out than the whole rail company. That's a fact. <sighs> it seems I seem to be sighing a lot lately. I think it must be stress. I think it must be stress, that or a critical lack of sleep. Oh yeah. Who knew being a photographer could be such hard work? It's almost midnight on Saturday. Sorry. Um, it wouldn't be the first time my boss had made me <laughs> work during the weekends, and it certainly wouldn't be the last. I came all the way here so I could take pictures of AU's latest concert, but I didn't get a single snapshot. What a waste of time. <sighs> I yawned, um, pressing one hand against my gripping mouth, my gaping mouth, <laughs> I said gripping, don't take that out of context. Since it's late, I should probably head home. I feel exhausted and I have something of a headache. Curling up in bed and resting my head on my nice soft pillow sounds like heaven right about now. But it's rare to come to this part of Tokyo and part of me is craving a drink. There's lots of nice high class bars around this area and I sure could use a pick me up. Huh, interesting. I hope I don't meet somebody there. Uh, if I dally too long, the trains will stop running. Then I'll need to spend the night in a hotel. That sounds like a pain. And I can cross that bridge when I get to it. Somehow cheered by my plan, I turn neatly on my heels. There was a pretty nice bar around here, only a short walk away. My aching legs couldn't use some exercise, but then the instant's wind helps me bring some color to my cheeks. I'm not gone for more than a handful of steps. However, when I pause, there's a lone woman crossing the street parallel from me. Walking in the opposite direction. Oh. Hello there. How are you? Her head is low. Her features obscured by the dark. But something about her looks. Familiar. Her hair is light orange brown color. And it's tied back with two cute twin tails. Yeah. What do you know? These twin tails stream behind her like a banner as she walks, fluttering in the breeze. I'd reckon that hair anywhere. Even if I hadn't seen it illuminating by the bright lights of the stage an hour ago, it's AU. What's she doing roaming around the street? Hmm. No way. I was wondering why she's walking the nighttime in the Tokyo streets alone. Since she's a famous idol, shouldn't she be chaperoned by at least a dozen bodyguards? This doesn't make any sense. There's no reason AU should be out at a time like this. Maybe this woman isn't a you. It could be someone who just so happens to look a lot like her. Oh yeah, of course. That's basically the common sense of it. But that's impossible. She's even wearing that same cute pink and white outfit that she wore while she was performing. That's 
Okay. This is where I kind of draw the line. Is it not weird that this... I'm just not trying to disrespect her. And... <laughs> pardon my words. Isn't it weird that this bitch is literally just roaming across the litter... Like, crossing around Tokyo, just walking the streets without bodyguards? I know he's been thinking of it, but... Again, in... And the thing is, like, normal celebrities don't do that. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, that's anime logic for you. <laughs> Her skirt is mini-layered. Ruffled, ruffled work of art. A little like a fancy wedding cake. And the top of her hat sit a small, but not at all practical hat. Her arms and legs are bare, exposed due to the element. And she is wearing a very tall, impressive pair of heels that makes a loud clacking sound with every step. It was hard for me to see her clearly during the concert, given I was so far away from the stage. AU was nothing more than a blur, barely vision above the heads of thousands of fans. Now, however, she's standing impossibly close to me. She's only a few feet away from me on the other side of the street. She's feel less like an incredible, untouchable idol, but more of a regular human being, which of course she is. And you might be loved by millions of people across Japan, but she's not inflate, infallible, sorry. <laughs> Almost said inflatable. Um, she doesn't have magical powers and she's no goddess to be worshiped at an altar. She's a regular girl. Without those heels of hers, she was probably pretty short. She's less impressive now. Um, she's less impressive now um, on the wind street, wind, uh, sorry, windswept street than she was on the stage. But she feels more approachable. I was just lamenting in my inability to take a used photos five minutes prior. I thought I failed my assignment, but this could be my lucky break. If I act nicely, maybe she could pose for a pic or two. My career would be saved. Hey you, hey hey you. I don't know if saying hey hey you is the right way to address a famous celeb like hey you, but neither do I care. These photos aren't gonna take themselves, huh? And you pause as she turns her lips, pursed in a confused frown. Ah! The moment she, I see her face, the air is knocked out of my lungs. <laughs> it's definitely her. There's nobody else this could be. This is the idol who's captured millions of hearts ever since her official debut. This is the idol I've seen in magazines, on TV screens, and plastered on billboards all over Tokyo. This is the same idol I saw as she performed on stage bathed in a sea of lights. I can't let her go. My future of my career is riding on this. I don't want to be fired. Hey, you. What? Hey, you takes a step back, alarmed. Who's you? Don't come any closer, you creep. I carry pepper spray in my bag, and I'm not afraid to use it on a mongrel like you. Well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. That's fine. You can pepper spray me or call me a mongrel. Anything you want. You can even ask me to bow down before your feet. Anything's fine, so as long as I can, you can let me take you. Take your photo? A photo? You mean an upscale photo? Are you so, sort of perfect? How the fuck did that go? That south? That fast? <laughs> How did that go this far south? I can't. No, I'm not. I'm just a humble photographer and I, just, and I want to do my job. Please, would you pose for me? Doesn't sound moved by my cries. If anything, she looks downright disgusted. 
She wrinkles her nose whenever it happens. Whatever happened to appreciating all her fans, huh? And takes a few hurry steps back. Leave me alone, you virgin loser. <laughs> I am not interested in... In the posing for a so-called photographer like <laughs> Hey, you please, listen. No, back off or I'll call the cops. I mean it. Okay, maybe a little bit much. You're nothing more than an insect to me, and there's no qualm about squ about squashing squashing you. Leave me alone. Eh, but I don't. The promise promise of maybe not being shouted by my boss is too heady of a holy grail for me to pass up. I take another step forward. And you try to retreat, but I'm fat but I'm faster than she is. Oh no, I know exactly where this is going. And she's Wearing very high pair of heels. She totters. She teeters. It looks like she's going to fall. She opens her mouth, alarmed, and a high-pitched squeal immense from her lips. Yeah! <laughs> hey, you wait. Hold on. And you might have called a mongrel. Might have called me a mongrel and a bug. But it's true, I have no found feelings for her music. But I still don't want her to get hurt. I need to try and help her. And so, I threw caution to the wind. I dive forth, seeth, I use wrists with my arms, and pull teeter body against mine. Huh? What are you? Ah! Unfortunately for me, gravity is a harsh mistress. And I'm unable to restress, resist her. I fall over backwards. A used prone body is still pressed against my own. I <laughs> grit my teeth together, ready for impact. And as I fall, time seems to slow to a trickle. The seconds turn into minutes, which turn into hours. And then there was a loud thud and a worry crunch. I collapsed against a cold, gray sidewalk. Ugh. Oof. I lied there for a few minutes, a few moments, winded, and stared up at this starry night sky. My head is pounding like the speakers at the <laughs> AU concert, and my back is killing me! I hope I haven't broke any bounds. Gingerly, I twitched my fingertips. They seem to be in working order, at least. As a photographer, my fingers are pretty important. Yeah, eh, yeah, I could see that being a thing. Then I try to sit up, but I can't. There was a weight pressing against my chest. It's... I am so lucky that majority of adults are watching my channel. <laughs> Because if this wasn't the case, I would be having problems. Now, good thing this is... <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> oh, dear. Moving on! AU? The famous idol AU, Japanese beloved sweetheart, is sitting astride me like a cowgirl. Oh, shit. This couldn't have gotten any worse. Her legs are spread, her thighs pinion, <laughs> pinion, pinioning me in the place while her skirt is all rumbled up. Oh dear. She holds one, one hand to her head, winching. Wincing, sorry. Or is it winching? I don't know. Um, as she tries to gather her bearings. She looks dazed and confused, and I don't think she's hurt. I was able to shield her from the worst of the fall. 
I took a full brunt of the pain for her sake, all, pro all to protect her pretty face, and I'm glad it, w I'm glad it worked. Who'd want to look at a picture of a famous idol with a bruised eye and a split lip? Uh, I'd get into a world of trouble if I tried to pub publish pictures like that. Speaking of taking photos, crap. I almost completely forgot about my bag. Slunge across my, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't buy any of that equipment myself. It was on lease by my company. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. You may you may be in trouble, sir. My boss always warned me before. I head off for my assignment to take care of the expensive camera and the lens he's trust me with. This equipment is worth more than your life. If you break it, I'll break one of your arms. Do you understand? Oh, Gazawara. <laughs> oh, Gazawara. <laughs> Please tell me if I'm butchering that. <laughs> Damn it. The word forces their forces their way out of my chest. The lung my lungs feel constrained by both the mounting anxiety and the weight <laughs> of AU's body. I haven't checked inside my bag yet. And I'm already feared, fearing the worst. Mm, the crunch sound I heard as I fell over. What if that wasn't my skull crumpling on itself like a paper plate, but all the equipment? <laughs> if my camera broke, it'll be impossible to take a picture of you, even though she was, she's right in front of me. I screwed up yet again. My boss is going to be so pissed off. Why did I come over all shiver like as such as cr such a critical judgment? My job's on the line as it is without adding wanton destruction of company property on the list of on my list of sins. You might be attractive, but this isn't worth worth this much trouble. Now, I want nothing more than to drink myself to oblivion. Hey, um, are you? I blink up at you, her pretty face swims before me, renders vague and hazy thanks to my pounding headache. I'm sorry about all that. Uh, I know you might be in a state of shock, but do you mind getting off of me? It's hard to breathe, you see? AU doesn't reply, instead she stares at me, eyes blinking on see. her mouth slacks. Her soul hasn't escaped her body, has it? Has she gone in a state of cat <laughs> catatonic shock? Um, since AU is an idol, she must be bound by quite of a strict contract. Most idols aren't allowed to spend that much time with members of the opposite sex. Could this be her first time she's ever been so close and personal with a man? A man who isn't her father, I mean. This might explain why she's staring at me so intensely. She looks like she she just clapped eyes with an <laughs> extraterrestrial. Damn. Damn indeed. And curse was more, my head and my lungs are on fire. If I wasn't bad enough that I potentially broke tens of thousands of yen worth of camera equipment, I begin to look like I may have broken a YouTube. I only reached to grab her because I wanted to help. I was trying to spare her from sustaining too much damage. I never meant to cause her so much harm. AU, um, I can't let my pain, if I do, I might startle AU even more. I need to be cool, calm, and in person. Like a duck. Though, given the circumstances, this is quite a tall order. Ha! The weight of AU's body is pressed against me. I can feel the warmth of her skin th through my clothing, not to mention the fullness of her thighs. God. 
I wish you didn't say that. Her lips are pursed and her cheeks are dusted with red blood. <laughs> no shit. She looks utterly delectable. <laughs> Much like a fake strawberry that adores her tiny top. You are a dick. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I don't think much of a you singing voice, but I can finally see, in a painful clear detail, why she's so enduringly popular. You now want to say that? She's insanely good looking, and unlike a lot of celebs who hide behind expensive photo editing, she looks even better in person. Well, yeah, pretty much. She smells so good. Two kind of like strawberries. These are not my words. I swear these are not my words. <laughs> um, the cool wind runs through AU's air, uh, hair. Wrong one. <laughs> hair, wafting her scent towards me. Her unique aroma <laughs> fills her nost fills my nostrils, while her body consumes my eyes. <laughs> Now, my five cents knows nothing other than a you. Ah, um, my harness and the coal. Why are you zooming farther out? <laughs> my harness and my cold and the coldness of the sidewalk melting away, as does the throbbing pain in my back and my head. All of a sudden, it doesn't matter that I can breathe. I want this moment to be the last of a lifetime, but that's hardly practical. If any of and anybody sees us like this, we're done for. AU's reputation will be in shreds. Unless, of course, she claims that I molest her, then I can forget my work-related woes. I'll be sent to prison instead. Yahoo! <laughs> Fuck, this is bad. Um I'm gonna need to try to wingle my way out of this position, or things will go from bad to worse. Hey, you please. We can't stay like this, not in the middle of a public street. I don't want to sound rude, but would you mind moving for both our sake? Ah. Uh, she's breathing heavily. Her bone chest rises and falls, falls, and her thighs clench around. Rather than a streak, a streak. Extricating herself to me, she's gripping me more intensely than ever. Hey, you, please. I'm trying to dissuade her, but to little avail. Her fingles, uh, fingles, fingles. I'm saying fingles of. Okay, her fingers grip the fabric of my shirt, and then she does something truly improbable. She begins to grind her hips against This couldn't have gotten any worse. This really couldn't have gotten any worse for me. Fuck's sake! Ah. I lie there like a pinned pug. I'm so stunned. I hardly know what to think or feel. This is... This is... Ah, uh, this is incredible. If this was... If this perfect paragon of a feminine beauty kept rubbing against me, I would... Wouldn't... I won't be responsible for my future actions. <laughs> She's so cute, but the little moans spill from her mouth are to die for ha Okay, it seemed like his emotion immediately goes to this. I am I wrong here? Am I wrong here? Oh good lord Okay Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that I was never a big fan of AU, but if this keeps up she might just comfort me. <laughs> After this is over and done with, 
Will I be obligated to attend the rest of her concerts? Will I have forked out the cash to buy out her new CDs, her merch, and tickets for her performances? It'll be hard to do that after I lose my job, though. It'll be even harder if I get sent to <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I know I should put an end to this, but I'm a weak man. Oh, like any man would be, my guy. I use undeniable good looking. <laughs> She's more appealing than ever if she isn't talking in that annoying high-pitched voice of hers. Her moans, they're so sexy it should be a crime. <laughs> oh man, that is gonna be a quote. <laughs> Someday. Uh, I would feel more of a use a perfect body against mine. I want to hold her. I want to kiss, oh Jesus, I, I, I. Hey, you blanks, she looks down at me, her fingers still curved around the fabric of her, around her, my shirt. Okay, all right. Her <laughs> lips pursued, uh, pursed, sorry. Her eyes don't look glassy like they did before. Although she's still, as she, although she's still blushing, her brow was furrowed. She doesn't look like she's enjoying herself. No shit. In fact, she seems downright pissed. Okay, can someone explain what the fuck just happened here? You, y you, yes. What is it? You, you, I. You perfect. Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you joking? I've been trying to tell this bitch to get off me! She slaps me right in the cheek. She slaps me so hard my teeth rattle and the stars explode, explode behind my eyelids. Are you f That's probably gonna leave a mark. Damn. And now the right side of my face is throbbing. What a nice way to cap off the night. I can't believe you took advantage of me like that out in the open. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are the absolute worst. Push this self off me. She gets to the feet, still teethered in heels and glowers. Your mother would be ashamed if she could see you right now. You're less of an insect, even less of a less than a worm. You don't even deserve to exist on the same planet than those worth, those worthy creatures. At least worms and ants and spiders help the environment. They're part of the economy, but you're just a waste of space. You don't deserve to live. Why don't you just die? Better yet, I'll kill you myself. I really will. Ayu doesn't try to help me back on my feet. Instead, she spits on the virtue at me, even more cohesive than the harshest of chemicals. I tried to get up, but AU does make it easy for me. Slapping in my face wasn't enough to satisfy her self-righteous rage because she kicked my shin. Oh, I stagger back, hissing, doubled over with pain. Damn it! Hills are very sharp and pointed and be kicked by them hurts. Damn! I'm not gonna lie, AU's an asshole. At least Ayu's hatred has helped my e helped to ease my rage passions. I don't feel turned on anymore. Instead, I feel pained, upset, and confused. I wasn't even trying to take advantage of you. You fell and I... I went to stay. It's because of me you didn't hurt yourself. Couldn't, couldn't you thank me for that at least? Thank you! Why should I thank you? I wouldn't... I never would have fallen if you hadn't call, called out to me, you moron. Well, I guess she's not wrong with that. That's one point to you. Besides, I bet you wanted me to land on top of you. You were practically throbbing with implication. Say what? You're the worst, and I never see... I never want to see you again. You're lucky I'm not going to call the police on you, you sick fuck. Never talk to me ever again. That's an order. Hmm. <laughs> Turns and marches off. She mutters to herself a while, 
Her arms swing back and forth. Forth to her sides like soldiers. I'm not sure what she's saying exactly, but a few choice bits of pieces, an angry monologue, filters back to me on a cool breeze. Loser. Who does he think he is? Attractive or anything, not my type, so. Like that before, must have been a trick. Don't let them get the better of you. There's something special about that guy. I don't move. I'm so stunned by the unexpected encounter with you, and I can only stand here mouth agape. <laughs> uh, only have a few minutes before. Well, only have a few minutes el has elapsed, and a you as a fight from the view, I can finally return to my senses. My head's still throbbing. My back aches. I don't think I've written anything. There's something I could be thankful at least. But there. The same can't be said for my camera. Shit. I take one curiously look inside my bag. Uh, and soon, wish I hadn't bothered. There was no two ways about it. My boss is definitely gonna kill me. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, what a day. And this is where I'm going to have to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this. If you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been said, guys. Later.